Hi, hi. Uh, this is Colin from Singapore. It is Saturday afternoon. Uh, this is twenty. Uh, this is day twenty-three of my ninety-day video challenge. Uh, it's quite a big challenge, but we're still going. Oh, I love making videos. Uh, it gives me a lot of fun. Uh, I get to how you say, go into areas where I uh, new in, and uh, I get to research stuff that. Uh, uh, that is very interesting and then I'm providing it to all of you and giving all of you good value for it. Alright, now, today's topic, okay, is about dealing with rejection. Now, um, I cannot count the amount of times I've been said no to because I was an offline marketer, you know. We get that every day, every other day until we are so used to it, you know. So, okay, now, having the experience, I would like to pass it to you guys, alright. How to deal with it? How to prevent yourself from being rejected or feeling rejected? All right. Now dealing with rejection, uh, this is a very important subject. Okay, so I hope that uh, uh, the newbies uh, in my team, okay, uh, pay attention to closely. All right, really, it's, it is very important. Now. You have just been recruited, alright, you're in the team, alright, you join the chat box, you've gone through the videos in the ILN, the whole nine yards, okay, and you're all humpy dory to get started, you know what I mean, uh, about this project. So, you try, you, the first thing you do is you want to enroll because you want to start making that money, alright, now. So, I will begin with rejections from people who you know very well. Right. So you start and you make your plan. All right. Uh, your plan is to first to make your plan is to first make your name list, of course. All right. The people you are going to contact and you are sure as hell that they're not gonna they 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 are going to join you. You're confident and you're so uh, excited that they are gonna join you. you. Know what I mean? So now you um. And the first names that come up in your mind, okay, right now, are your best friends. You know what I mean? It's only natural, okay? Okay, uh, because these are the people, wouldn't they love to join you, you know? That's what you're thinking, you know? Uh, they claim to be your best friends, best friends forever, BFF, you know, you heard all that in Facebook, okay? They even profess it on Facebook and include them in the group, you know? Uh, so, what you do is, you open up your Facebook, okay, and then you start to chat with them. And then when you offer the business opportunity to them, they say, no. Oh my God, you know, how would that feel, you know? So, what a shocker, right, you know? The person who was your classmate, your buddy, takes the bus with you, goes to school with you, comes back with you, your best friend turns you down, okay? I will not go into the reasons why your best friend has rejected you, okay? But that would be speculating. But for whatever reason, you felt that deep sense of betrayal. Am I correct? And that deep, deep sense of pain and rejection. Oh, you hurt like hell, you know? But the thing is that why you, what are you feeling like that? It's because you have not been taught how to handle this situation. After five rejections or after two weeks without an enrollment, you will feel like quitting. Honestly. But, hey, you're not alone. You know what I mean? We all go through all this. We all have been trained, okay, to handle rejection, alright? And we have the motivation to keep on going. I mean, you show me a network marketer who says that he will win every sale and never, nobody refuses him, you know, and never been rejected in his life, I will show you a liar. You know what I mean? Okay, we all go through all this, all right? But you have to be trained to handle it. Okay, now, remember two things. This is important. Now, when you go prospecting, like a friend of mine said, okay, Mr. Caesar, I was listening to his comment in the chat box this morning. He said it's like looking for a nugget of gold in the sand. Right? So when you're panning it, you are shifting the sand out and letting the heavy material settle behind. 
you're hunting, okay, you're looking for it, okay, you're searching, okay. So when you go for, when you do prospecting, okay, approaching people, meaning which is you are approaching people, you must never ever assume that the prospect will join you, okay. You must never ever have the expectation that all your friends will join you. All you are doing is just plain sharing. Let me share with you. Let me invite you. You know what I mean? So, how do you feel? Uh, hurt when you're... When you, I mean, I'm talking like... Okay, how, how can you feel hurt when you do not expect anything? You know what I mean? Uh, it's only when you expect something... That's when you will feel the hurt. Okay, yeah, let me give you a further example. It's like it's like love, actually. You know, not every relationship that you have will turn into a marriage. You know what I mean, so do not expect. So if you do not expect marriage out of the relationship, how can you feel hurt when when the person says no? You know what I mean. So, okay, now, second thing, now, you know that this is an op awesome op opportunity, right? So, it's their loss, not your loss, you know what I mean? So, okay, you you cannot, you, you, if you think that way, that, that oh, my friend, so, no, you have to think the other way around, you say, that, hey, you want to join me, it's your loss, you know? I don't feel anything about it. I offered you and you don't want, it's your loss. Your loss that you cannot make the money that I am making. You know what I mean? Okay, now, you have uh, made a list, you have made a list of 200 people to contact. So, move on, there are many fishes in the sea. Okay, keep the peace, but how will keep the person on the list, of course, as you, as maybe the timing may not be right. You know what I mean? People are strange creatures, you know? they say, oh, networking is really not for me, no, 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 no. Then after a month's time, wow, this is the best opportunity there is, you know. This is the best opportunity I've ever seen. So timing is a factor. It's like a kid when he drinks coffee, oh, shit, this tastes bad, you know. So if that, there's maybe he put some sugar in it and he drinks it, it's a bit okay, you know. Cuts out the bitterness. But when he gets older, he wakes up in the morning, uh, Oh, I need my coffee, man. I, without coffee, I cannot work. Suddenly, it becomes good for him, you know. You understand? So, the timing may not be correct. Alright? So, number four. Okay, now, let me talk about number four. Number four, make your motivation as high as possible, okay? That you want to achieve this, okay? And you will never feel rejected. Because you are working for a purpose. So all you do is, what you do is, you put the person aside for a while, okay, and come back another day, you know, that you had a conversation with that person and it did not turn out the right way, okay. And there's always another day. You know what I mean? You can come back and talk to him again after maybe two or three months. Okay, now, so always remember, in dealing with rejection, okay, Okay, to prevent yourself feeling hurt, okay, when you approach a subject or prospect, do not expect anything, okay. If you do not expect anything, how can you feel hurt, okay, how can you feel rejected, you know what I mean? Okay, thank you for spending the time to watch this video, I really appreciate for you guys following my, my, my videos. Uh, if you want to earn an income from home, from the comfort of your home, comfort of your home, you know what I mean? Okay, just click the link below and we will be happy to welcome you to our family. Thank you very much. Peace.